Hello, it's 7.30, December 16th, and the storm is well underway, uh, moving a little bit faster than the models anticipated. So we're just going to be looking at the current conditions across the area right now, and looking at this, uh, we're starting off with the radar by precip type, and you can see here that the, the rain snow line has set up just south of Long Island. Uh, and is reaching through into the Jersey Shore uh, and uh, heavy, uh, moderate to heavy snow across the area again over New Jersey, uh, Jersey Shore uh, area. It's heavy rain. Uh, central New Jersey, they're dealing with the snow as well. Uh, so this is what the uh, precip type radar looks like right now. Uh, this is the other radar from the Weather Service. I the Weather Service would offer that. I don't know why they don't. Um, on or about December 16th, these are pages will be replaced, however. So this is the radar at the weather search. You can see that yellow over us. So that we're dealing with some heavy snow over us. So we're getting into the heart of the storm, actually, now instead of versus later. Um, see, they don't offer precip type here, do they? No, they do not. This is their radar here. So I don't know why they don't do that. I don't know why the weather service does not do that. Um, a good question but we have to go to this website for that unfortunately so let me uh, zoom in a little more so you can get a closer look here at what's happening and I'm gonna actually stop this from looping just hit this on the now part all right there all right so you can see what's going on here across the island you can see the extreme south shore has got rain but the rest of us are in the snow uh, and uh, you can see that line kind of bends a little more southwestward and then uh, over looks like Tom's River is in the rain if you go north of Tom's River it's snowing and you go south of Tom's River it's raining uh, however like I said this radar sometimes doesn't always have the 100% right information so it's just a guess as to where that line is you see it's quite warm in Tom's River 42 degrees uh, in Tom's River actually uh, so they're uh, right at the shore there, 40, 40, 42, so it's quite a, quite a bit above freezing. Uh, but look at these wind gusts, a 47 mile an hour wind gusts at Seagirt. That's a, right there, at Seagirt it's 40 as well. But you go a little bit inland, wind's not quite as bad, and the temperatures are lower. Um, for Long Island, where it is below freezing, uh, you can see we got some wind gusts up there into the 25 26 mile an hour wind gust at Farmingdale. Uh, so we got some pretty strong winds out there. 28 degrees at Mutton Town. So Nassau is pretty much safely below freezing. So is Suffolk, despite the fact we have an east wind, which is, again, what's confusing about this whole storm. 45, as a wind gust of 45 at this buoy here. And uh, the water temperatures are 53, though. But we're still in the cold air. Uh, does it have the waves here? I don't see the waves here. It's weird. No report of the wave height. Uh, but anyway, we've got um, cold air in place across the area. But again, just off to the south is where it's raining. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. Let's look, look to see what uh, the roads look like in our area here. I'm sure they're already bad. So. Things are, like I said, we're a little ahead of schedule with this storm. Let's first start off with the south shore. See if it's raining there, if anything. Nope, it's snowing all right. And uh, you can see there's snow on the road there at, looks like Massapequa. Snow on the road at Eulet Avenue there in Belmore. Looks like there's that Merrick. So it is snowing out there even on the south shore right now. No, I'm not going to go outside and look and see what it's like because I'm, uh, I don't want to get sick again, right? So, let's look at Levittown. Yeah, snow is sticking to the roads quite nicely. That almost looks like a nice bus over there. Um, so, we got moderate to heavy snow. So, we're in the thick of the storm now. That's what it looks like up on by Wanto Parkway there. Uh, look at Deer Park. Snowing there too. Snowing across most of the island. It's expected. Uh, 
Changeover has not started yet. Um, and like I said, changeover is going to mostly be South Shore and Eastern Suffolk County. It's hard to say how much snow is on the ground already out there just by looking at these pictures, but I would say probably at least a couple of inches. Um, so the railroad also being affected by weather-related signal trouble at Woodside. So that is going to wrap up this update on the storm. I'll keep you posted on the storm, but uh, it's going to be rough the next couple of hours, the snow uh, uh, across the area, and it's only going to get heavier. Again, we have to keep an eye on this line and see what winds up with this line. Again, with that east wind, it's surprising to see so much snow falling across the area. Uh, we would expect more of a northeast wind, but you have to expect the unexpected because it is 2020. I'll keep you posted on the storm. Be safe. Hopefully you're not outside right now.